It's really hard to identify if you're idolizing your work in the home because so much of our identity is wrapped up in the work of the home, so much of our life is wrapped up in this work because we don't we don't punch a time clock, because our our we're taking care of little people who are products of us in a lot of ways, because our husband is is our dearest and closest friend. It's hard to see how we've made an idol of this work because it's so much a part of our life and it never ends. But we do idolize our work. We do put it before the Lord. We do see it as more important than anything else. And there's a few ways I think that we can, questions we can ask ourselves to identify this idolizing the work of the home. The first is, does your mood rise or fall with a complete to-do list? So if you get to the end of the day, you're laying in bed and you look at the work you've done for the day, if you see no check marks on your to-do list, do you feel guilty? Do you feel like you have nothing to show for what you've done for the day because you can't see any tangible examples of the work that you've done? Or if you've checked off everything, do you feel great about yourself? Do you think, man, I am super mom today. I am, I am firing on all cylinders in my work today. And do you, do you put your value as a human being and as a, as a worker on a complete to-do list? If you do, you might be idolizing your work. The second way is do you see the people in your life, your neighbors, as a hindrance to getting your work done? So have you pit the productivity part of your work against the people part of your work? So if nap time derails and nobody takes a nap and you suddenly are unable to get anything done you thought you were going to get done for the day, are you mad? Are you mad at this little person standing in front of you who's asking for a glass of milk? because they interrupted what you planned on getting done. If your husband decides to finish work early and wants to come home and hang out and watch a movie instead of you getting everything done you thought you were gonna get done, are you mad at him? Do you, do you, are you bothered that he didn't let you get things done in a given day? Because our work is about people as much as it is about getting things done. And so we need to have a healthy balance between those interruptions in our day. And the third, which I think is so common for women is, do you compare yourself to others in your work? Are you looking at the woman next to you in church? Are you looking at the woman at, at the playgroup on the playground? And you look at what she's doing and do you think, I'm pretty good, I get more done than her today or in a given day? Or do you feel like a failure or a mom fail because you didn't get everything done that she can get done? We are not called to compare ourselves to others. We are called to run the race, as Hebrew says, that is set before us. And our races all look different based on capacity, based on spacing of our children, based on seasons of life. And so we aren't to compare ourselves to others. And if you're comparing yourself to others and equating your value with what somebody else is doing as opposed to what God has called you to do, then you might be idolizing your work.